Court has been informed that the jury has reached a uh, verdict, and we are on the record of the case of People versus Mark Redline, 17 CR 343. Initially, um, I want to make a few comments while the jury's on its way up. This has been an extremely difficult case for everybody involved. It's been difficult for the parties, for the attorneys, for their staff, it's been difficult uh, for the families. The entire community. Uh, this case has taken a lot of resources uh, from the entire state as well as a lot of county. Uh, the planning uh, to try and get this case to go as well as it did uh, was extensive. I want to thank all the hard work from all the court staff that have worked on this case. Laplata County, uh, the administration, and their employees have done a tremendous amount of work uh, trying to make sure that everything went off safe and smoothly. I specifically want to thank security personnel for everything that they've done. I've done uh, really complex cases both as a prosecutor, as defense counsel, and as a judge. I know how much work both sides have done on this case. It's a tremendous amount of effort that the attorneys and their staff have uh, put into it. And I just want to let you know that I appreciate everyone's effort. So with that, we'll just wait for the jury. Thank you. Oh, thank you. The other thing that I wanted to mention before uh, the jury got here is we have talked about how long the process this has been. Emotions uh, are running very high uh, from both sides. However, this is a court of law. I expect everyone in this courtroom to behave appropriately. If anyone behaves inappropriately, they're going to be removed. I have no idea what the verdict's going to be, and um, I expect everybody to express any emotions they may have after they leave the courthouse. Everybody rise for the jury. Mr. Parker, are you the foreman of the jury? Yes. And uh, I've been informed <coughs> that the jury has reached a verdict uh, prior to receiving the answer to the question that it sent up. Yes. And is, is this verdict unanimous? Yes. Would you hand the verdict forms to Cindy, please? Mr. Edwin, if you please stand up. Jury verdict count number one, murder in the second degree. We, the jury, find the defendant, Mark Redwine, guilty of count number one. Be quiet, please. Murder in the second degree, signed by Mr. Parker. Jury verdict count number two, child abuse. We, the jury, find the defendant, Mark Redwine, guilty of count two, child abuse. Uh, signed by Colin Parker. Further, we the jury find that with respect to the verdict question as to this count as follows. Did the child abuse result in death? The answer is yes. Signed by Mr. Parker. You can be seated. Does they decide which to have the jury pulled? Yes, please. All right. Ms. Fortune, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? 
Ms. Lopez, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Mr. Cole, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Mr. Mooney, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Ms. Nowak, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Mr. Streets, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Mr. Nelson, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Mr. Walton, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Uh, Mr. Tesler, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Mr. Boykin, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Mr. Parker, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? And Ms. Ludwig, were these your verdicts and answer to the verdict question? Ladies and gentlemen, you have now completed your duties as jurors in this case and are discharged with a thank you to court. The question may arise whether you may not discuss this case with lawyers, defendant, or other persons. For your guidance, I'm instructing you that whether you talk to anyone or not is entirely your decision. It is proper for others to discuss this case with you, and you may talk to them, but you do not need to do so. If you talk to them, you may talk to them as much or as little as you want about your deliberations and facts that influence your decision. If any person persists in discussing this case over your objection or becomes critical of your jury service, either before or after any discussion has begun, please report it to me. If you have any questions that I can answer, um, just wait for me in the jury room. There's a few things that I need to do prior to coming down there. It shouldn't take very long. I know it's also been a long uh, time for you guys. If you want to take off, you're certainly free to do that. But I really appreciate all the, appreciate all the work you've done into it. Been a, a tough case. I know it's been a tough case on you guys as well as everybody else. And I just want to thank you on behalf of the state of Colorado for all the work that you've done. Everybody rise for the jury and you go down to the jury room. Be Mr. Champagne, are you anticipating a full day or close to a day for sentencing? Yes, Judge. All right. Just a second. Uh, initially, I'm going, uh, Mr. Um, Redwine no longer has a right to bond. He will be held without bond in any sentencing. Uh, I have, uh, I want to set sentencing out into September. Uh, I have Thursday, September 23rd. Or Friday, September 24th, available. Do those days work for council? All right. Your Honor, um, one of our team members is going to be in a two week trial. Is it possible to go out to the next week? Yes. I could do either Thursday or Friday the next week, also, 30th or uh, October 1st. We have a conflict on the first. I'm sorry, Judge. Uh, is it possible to do the 30th? Does that work for you, Mr. Bogan? All right. Well, let me look for some different dates then. How about uh, Friday, October 8th? Yes, Judge. That works for us. Yes. All right. We'll set that for 9 a.m. And with that, we'll be in recess. Thank you all very much. Thank you.